We're now going to look at the STEC 55X Autopilot. This unit is a very popular aftermarket system and can be installed on a wide variety of airplanes. In this program, we're going to focus on the Cirrus SR22 installation. Let's start with the programmer for the STEC 55X. These are the controls located on the pilot side yoke, autopilot selector next to the PFD, and the control face of the STEC 55X. Most of these buttons are very familiar. In this Cirrus implementation, there's a selector button on the top left corner of the PFD. This button controls the mode of operation, allowing you to toggle between flight director and autopilot status. The programmer for this autopilot has many buttons that share the same operating function as other autopilots. This one has a function, though, that's a little different than most. The STEC 55 has a feature for direct communication between the autopilot and a GPS navigator. This function is called GPSS or GPS Steering. It allows the navigator to send turn-by-turn -turn instructions to the autopilot, which allows for more automated flying. There is no button labeled GPSS, but to activate this mode, you'll press the nav button twice. As you can see, the programmer shows an indication that GPSS has been selected. We'll discuss this feature in more detail a little later. To demonstrate, we'll be flying a Cirrus SR-22 from Cincinnati Lunkin Airport to the Lebanon Warren County Airport. During the run-up, check the functioning of the STEC in the same manner that we checked the GFC-700. The pre-flight of the autopilot cycles through the heading and vertical modes to check that the servo motors are working. We want to verify that the programmer is controlling the control surfaces in the proper manner and the safety cutoffs are also working. We'll also check that the disconnect button promptly disengages the system.